The usual presentation of partial hydatidiform mole is with late first trimester bleeding. The uterus is usually small or normal for dates. The HCG is often low or normal for gestation, although sometimes it can be high. The karyotype is invariably triploid, although very occasionally it can be tetraploid. Macroscopically, the placental tissue shows no obvious abnormalities and the foetus may be present. Diagnosis of a partial hydatidiform mole is therefore by histology. Histological examination of a partial hydatidiform mole reveals two distinct populations of coronic villi. There are enlarged hydropic villi and a small two normal sized villi that are often fibrous. The hydropic villi have scalloped borders and are irregular with trophoblastic invaginations. There is hyperplasia of the syncytio trophoblast and this manifests itself in knuckles forming on the outside of the villi. The hydropic villi have central cisterns or cavities and because partial hydatidiform moles can coexist with a foetus. Sometimes nucleated red blood cells may be seen within the villi. This is a typical low power view of a partial hydatidiform mole. At the top of the picture are normal sized and in areas fibrous villi and the bottom and on the right are markedly enlarged hydropic villi. This is a good example of a hydropic villus. First of all you can see that there is an irregular outline with scalloped edges and that the centre of the villus is a cavity or cistern. This hydropic villus shows a scalloped outline. And this villus shows trophoblastic inclusions. And finally, this hydropic villus shows knuckles of hyperplastic since it's a trophoblast.